good day and welcome to Jobek TV News. I'm Precious Mola and here are your headlines. A DA assess the work that needs to be done in South African borders. Marking of 2018 metric papers underway. The DA today held a media briefing on the true state of South Africa's borders. This comes after they embarked on a tour over the past month across Limpopo, Northwest and KwaZulu-Natal to collect information on the state of our borders. The aim was to assess the work that needs to be done in order to secure South Africa against illegal immigration, human and drug trafficking. Crown Sondani filed this report. Today, Joburg TV News is at Kululeko House where the DA will brief members of the media regarding information collected on the state of our borders and to access the work that needs to be done in order to secure South Africa against illegal immigration. And thank you for availing your time this morning. Um, we'll just start. Um, let me just introduce to you. Um, uh, we have Joe McGlua. Um, the premier candidate of the DA from Northwest. We have uh, Zokele Ngao, the premier candidate of KwaZulu Natal of the DA. We have Jacques Smaller, the premier candidate from Lompopo, and myself, Jacques Julius, the spokesperson of the Democratic Alliance on Immigration. Now, apart from previous DA visits, the DA inspected the Limpopo Zimbabwe border. KwaZulu Natal Mozambican border and Northwest Botswana border, specifically Skolpats Hek, we uncovered a number of issues, and these include illegal cross uh, border trading, the alleged social grant fraud, porous borders where there are no fences or broken fences, poor military patrolling hijacking syndicates operating at our borders. Now, these are some of the broad issues we found at each of the border posts. Let me go into the border post. Uh, Jacques, I don't know whether there's anything you can add to that one. I think um, part of the uh, border fence that is, uh, does not exist anymore, it is <coughs> the extent of what it has on the government services. One of those are on the veterinary services. Um, uh, it is a red zone area, so uh, um, animals are constantly in contact or the people are on the South African side's animals are constantly in contact with foot and mouth disease animals that crosses the border. So therefore, not only um, can you not export that meat, but um, there's a series of uh, veterinarian services that must be applied um, to those people that are being affected crime on the Messina area and um, the neighboring areas across the whole border, um, the farming community uh, uh, as well as the town are, are, are uh, exposed to some very highly levels of crime and, 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 and crime syndicates. Our health care in that um, um, Messina hospital is um, n provides a service to a, a large number of people that crosses the river uh, uh, in, in order to get a service. Um, we want to challenge uh, the Premier of Gauteng, uh, uh, David Makura, that said that 30% of, of people using our services are from Saudi countries. We want to know where he gets it and precisely what's the monetary value. So we will be asking further questions to get to the bottom of this, because currently um, home affairs don't even know how many people are in the country um, that are asylum seekers or, you know, uh, people that must return to repatriation uh, to, to, to these centers, Desmond Tutu Center and so forth. They're not returning and they told us these people are just in the air. The DA says that we do not secure our borders because data is not being captured. It also wants to challenge the Premier David Makura to deliver the number of people that are being documented. Also, the Department of Home Affairs does not have proper data. Kusukaika Jobek TV, Crown Sondland. The metric exams have been written and markers will get to work over the next 49. 
Wednesday was marked as the last day of 2018 metric final exam period. The pass rate will be announced on the 3rd of January. According to the Basic Education Department's Elijah Mklanga, marking has already commenced in two provinces. In the next 15 days, all marking and capturing of data will be completed and they will be moved to the next phase, which is the release of the results. That's it from me and the rest of the Jobek TV news team. Goodbye.